Hello, my name is Jan Ketel Röth, and I will in this video demonstrate uh, two things for you. First, how to convert an external table into a geodatabase, and by so doing, fixing the problem that the numbers are not stored as number, but as text. So, we may have a CSV table, which is typically used in programs like R, and you may want to use this same table then in ArcGIS Pro. And you cannot simply copy a CSV into a file geodatabase, but you can convert it. And by so doing, we can also fix a problem. So you see here I opened the CSV file, having several variables or attributes, which you typically say in GIS terminology. But you see the numbers here are left aligned, similarly as the country and code variables, which are text or character um, variables. But these should be numbers, but they are all left oriented, which indicate that these are, although they are numbers, they are having the data type character or text. Only the integer value here, and a code for which continent the countries are belonging to, is right uh, aligned and thus interpreted by ArcGIS Pro as number. Of course, this is problematic because you cannot calculate using these numbers here, and there are very few options on how you can map those, for instance, in thematic mapping. So better to convert this into numbers. So there is a tool for that. So we can open the toolboxes. And in the conversion tool uh, folder, there is a tool called table to table. We start this one and we indicate the CSV to be the input rows and it will be located in the default geodatabase of this project. And we could call it the output a similar name, but without the extension. Now, in the field option here, we can have all the fields listed in the table and we can look at their properties. So code, country, they are both text and fertility rate is also text so we change this to double and similarly we do it for all those variables which we find important uh, to work with so just changing this from text to double will make them appear as the data type double in the converted. Now, then this is done. I changed all the data type for the input variables from text to double, and I can now run the tool. So the tool finished, and we can have a look at the result. You will see also in the table of content that this is um, showing up here if you have activated then the data source tab here. We can also look here in the catalog that world is now inside the geodatabase. And then let's have a look at the data. Now you see numbers here are right aligned. So things should now be okay that we have the variables or the attribute in numeric data type. Thank you for watching.